All right. So it says a car weighing some amount of, uh, let me start labeling my quantities again. Starts from rest, and, uh, from rest. So my initial speed was zero and accelerates to this amount in this amount of time. The friction, oh, okay. It's, uh, I think I should draw a free body diagram just so that I illustrate all the forces that I, uh, I think the question wants me to consider. So let me draw the free body diagram. So the car is the car which I'll represent with a dot, as is my custom. It's going to be accelerating forward. So let me just say it's accelerating this way. It's accelerating in some amount. I think I've been given enough information to calculate based on what's in this portion of the question. I can calculate that. Let me treat it as a known quantity. And what it is, um, and the, uh, another piece of information that the question is giving is there's a friction force on the car. So let me uh, represent it as a, the question is being a little bit sloppy with what it's calling friction force. I'm just going to interpret that to mean any kind of retarding force, any force that's uh, holding the car back. Because as you have seen in some of the lectures, actually the, the force that's accelerating the car forward, that is the friction force. We just call it traction. Uh, when let me just ignore the portion because uh, when it's talking about apply the force, I think uh, the question wants me to consider this picture. I have a car. There's some kind of a backward force. I'm just going to call that friction force. And there's another force that I'm going to choose to label that as an apply the force. And the way the question is worded, it's simply asking me, what is this apply the force? So. There's enough information in the question for me to calculate the acceleration. And once I have acceleration, that gets me enough information to calculate the net force. That's mass times acceleration. Oh, and I guess they're not giving me the mass directly. They're giving me the weight. I guess they want it to be difficult. <laughs> so once you know this or that, then you write out, okay, a weight over any object near the surface of Earth is its mass times gravitational acceleration g. So where I need the mass, I'm going to figure out mass from here and plug it in. So, so from all this information, I can figure out the net force. And once I figure out the net force from acceleration, then I should tie it back to the applied force and the friction this way. The net force is the applied force, however it's applied, I guess non-frictionally somehow, minus the friction force. The, this is quantity that I'm going to figure out somehow. I have this. They want the applied force. So I solve for the applied force. The applied force is the net force plus the friction force. So those are the steps I'll go through. So let me just uh, do the calculation step. Step number one, that's going to get me the acceleration. Um, step 1B, that's going to get me the mass. Step 2, that's going to get me the net force. And this will be step number 3, that's going to get me the applied force. So um, for step number one, I think I'm going to cheat and use Wolfram Alpha, just so that I don't have to do unit conversion again. I know how to do it by hand. In fact, I think there's a video of me doing it by hand. So I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> the acceleration, it's 83 kilometers per hour divided by 4.5 seconds in meters per second squared. So I just don't want to do, I don't want to spend the time doing unit conversion when I can do something else. So 5.12. Uh, so that's going to be my acceleration value that I'll use from here on. Acceleration is 5.12 meter per second squared. And I think I can do the rest of the calculation on my uh, scientific calculator. I can also do it in Wolfram Alpha, but let me do it in scientific calculator. So, um, so I need a mass, so it's going to be the weight. 12,500 uh, Newton divided by G, 9.8 meter per second squared. 
and the units will work out to be kilogram. So let me uh, store this into memory. So 1,175.5 meter, uh, the kilograms of mass. So the net force is going to be this quantity. Oh, I didn't need to store it. It's going to be this quantity times the acceleration, 5.12. That's the net force. Um, that's step number two. Step number three, given the net force, add the friction force, 1440. Uh, plus 1440 newton and um, and that should be the applied the first 7971 newton and good so you know this uh, takes uh, a few steps but this is uh, what i would uh, categorize as a um, easy question in, in the sense that you saw me lay out step one, two, three, and I could just work through it sequentially. Um, the, the questions of that type are the easier questions where you can kind of do one step at a time. And uh, one of the purpose of us teaching you the standard strategy and other problem solving strategies is that there are harder questions where you'll have to write down your entire system of equation all at once and solve for them all at once. You can't just solve one equation at a time. Those are, are the harder questions that I hope everyone will feel comfortable doing uh, in about a month's time.